Hello, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be talking about this, the Logitech MX Master 3, which is kind of like my first mouse. I've only really used the trackpad on my laptop or the Apple Magic Mouse. So jumping straight into it, I'm gonna start with the ergonomics. I really like how this mouse feels when you're kind of just using it for long periods of time. It helps make sure your hand stays more vertical rather than horizontal. So it's not super vertical like the Logitech MX Vertical that's kind of too extreme, it might feel a little weird for a while when you first start using it, but this is kind of a good in-between of like, let's say like your trackpad in your hand is completely flat and the vertical of your hand is completely straight. Kind of going off from there, uh, the comfort is also kind of aided in that the buttons are really well placed. The thumb scroll wheel is like super convenient, like right where I rest my thumb, I can easily just kind of scroll or hit the forward and backward buttons. And the main scroll wheel is like super convenient to hit. I can either use that or hit that button right below it from just how I naturally hold the mouse while I'm using it. One issue I do have is with the gesture button. I wish this was a little closer to where your thumb actually sits on the mouse. I do find myself having to kind of like either reach for it with my thumb or just kind of having to angle out to use my knuckle to hit it, which I found a little odd, but I got used to it after a while. I do still wish it was a little closer to like right underneath the forward and back buttons. That'd be super convenient. I can just hit it with the, my thumb there. The gestures aren't super intuitive like they would be on like the trackpad or like the magic mouse. You know, kind of pushing your thumb down and dragging up and down on the mouse or like dragging side to side feels a little weird. Also given, like I mentioned earlier, the thumb, the gesture button is in a weird spot. It just feels super awkward to kind of move my finger in a, a not so comfortable direction and then drag my hand around. But moving on to the specific part of this mouse that really caught my eye when I first used it is the mag speed scroll wheel. So this is insanely quiet. It makes no noise. I can't hear it aside from that sound of it hitting my finger. I'll put it up a little closer to the mic. It's nearly silent, which is super nice, so I don't hear that clicking and that ratcheting noise as I'm just sitting there using it for a while. One cool fact about this is that it does scroll 1,000 lines in one second. I tried to test that with this program that was 1,200 lines long, but I didn't really set a timer, but you know, just one flick of the wheel and it did scroll to the bottom fairly quickly. The really interesting part about this is how they got this to work, which is super nerdy, but also super cool. Basically, it has this electromagnet inside of the scroll wheel that kind of switches between the normal ratcheting and like the free scrolling. So this works with like a, a small voltage spike to that electromagnet so uh, it's like I think it's like 25 volts goes to the magnet it'll switch between the free scrolling and the ratcheting and this basically helps like energize that electromagnetic coil and switch the state so the magnet kind of moves around in there the coil is unpowered unless it's making that transition so like when you're switching between ratcheting and scrolling there will be that 25 voltage spike to switch the electromagnet to the other setting but if you're just kind of normally using it there's no current going through it's just it's just during that transition period that you have the voltage spike so that's how it kind of has like that memory of if i turn the mouse off while it's in the ratchet mode it'll always be in the ratchet mode now this probably isn't interesting to everyone but i have a degree in electrical engineering, so I found that incredibly interesting. Another pro of using the uh, electromagnet is that there's less mechanical components in the actual scroll wheel itself. This means less components are moving, and that ultimately means less components are breaking, so this should helpfully allow this scroll wheel to last a little longer, um, so the mechanical components don't degrade when they're rubbing up against each other. And along with that, the feel of the scroll shouldn't change. So over time, as you scroll more and more, you kind of rub against that bearing and you kind of get the scroll to feel a little laggy. It might feel a little loose, but ideally with this electromagnetic setup, this scroll wheel should feel the same. It will last a little longer than the average mouse. So the next feature about this mouse I really didn't think I would like as much is the charging. So this mouse has USB-C charging and it is incredibly fast. So since I've had this mouse, I've only plugged it in once which was when I first got it. I think I, I pulled it out of the box, I plugged it in to charge for about 20 minutes, and since then I haven't had to plug it in again. This is incredibly convenient since I don't have to worry about plugging it in every time I'm done since I'm relatively forgetful and I will just leave it on and walk away for hours. The Logitech website states that a uh, full charge will last for 70 days. I might just charge it up to full tomorrow and see how long it lasts after that. If you want to know how that test goes, you should follow me on Twitter. Also, their website stated that you can get a full three hours of charging from just a single minute. So just in case it does die while you're in the middle of working, you can just plug it in for literally a minute and then get back to whatever you're doing. Another thing that I liked about this mouse that I didn't really you know, think about as much going into it was the customizability. You can modify what each button does on this mouse, either universally for your entire computer or for a on a program by program basis like Final Cut or Photoshop or Premiere. And I found this super helpful to kind of integrate the mouse into my workflow. Like, so for example, in Final Cut Pro, 
I have it set where the, the forward and backward buttons by my thumb do the trim command while the thumb scroll wheel scrolls horizontally on the timeline. So it comes predefined with a lot of shortcuts for a ton of apps that you have like on Mac and Windows. I just modified a couple things, you know, inverted the scroll wheel and then changed a couple of the buttons for Final Cut. But other than that, like the stock settings are great. It's a great place to start to kind of get a feel for the customizability and what you can do with it. Another thing I saw in the Logitech app on my computer was the flow feature. And I thought this was cool because you could essentially control two computers with the same mouse and just kind of drag between them as if you were going between two displays. Now I only have my MacBook back there, but I might test this out if I can get another computer, but I did test out the multi-device functionality. So you can pair this mouse with up to three devices. I ended up pairing to my laptop and my iPad. The switching feature was super fast. I just hit the button on the bottom and it was instantly recognized by the other device. So if I was like browsing a really good channel, you should go check it out. And I let the video play, I can go ahead and jump onto my iPad to go take some notes or you know work on something else. And if I was ready to go change the video, I could just hit the button, hop back into my Mac and change that as well. So overall, once you're over the learning curve of that gesture button, setting up your customizations for the mouse, this is a really good mouse. I do think it helps increase productivity in the sense that all the customizability gives you some like commands straight from the mouse, it just kind of helps you save some time from finding a setting or hitting a keyboard shortcut. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. You, you got to kind of see what my thoughts were using this mouse for the first time, kind of coming from a never having used a mouse like this before perspective. If you like this video, be sure to like it down below, which really helps out. Also be sure to subscribe if you're interested and check out some more videos. You can find them right here.